بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. I was wondering shall I speak in Arabic or in English but I think the majority here speak English. So what do you know about happiness? Who would love to stay and live in a city? Okay. And who don't love to stay in a city or live in a city? Hmm. Again, Mohammed. Those who we are target. We know uh, scientifically that uh, lots of people are migrating to live in cities. Actually, this is a century of cities. But we want the people who live in our cities to be happy. Our mandate is to create happiness. And this is His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid vision, is to make Dubai the happiest city. For sure, we are not coming from scratch. Alhamdulillah, Dubai started long ago when it's come to ICT and uh, the evolution of ICT. In 1999, actually, he mandated another uh, team who are our uh, uh, superior today to develop ICT report and to bring the future to Dubai or to take Dubai 10 years ahead. And as you can see here also on these slides, from that report, we came out with many projects and initiatives which are today live. And many of you, I think, also work in those uh, places. E-government, Internet City, Media City, and many more. For sure, we had also the Dubai Metro, which we believe is the smartest mean of transportation. And Burj Khalifa is the smartest building uh, on earth. So it's the tallest, but also the smartest. In, in, in uh, 2013, we moved our e-government to M-government, or the mobile government. But in 2014, His Highness, he said, I don't, want, I don't want only our government to be smart. I want everyone here in this city to be smart and to be a role model that we can take it to the level of our country and then become a role model globally as in a smart city. So our mandate in 2017, to be the smartest city and the happiest city. As I said, our mission is to create happiness by embracing technology innovation and making Dubai the most efficient, seamless, safe, and impactful experience when it comes to its residents and visitors. We believe that technology builds solutions, but only great solutions that drive happiness. So it's not the end goal for us, our end goal is to improve the quality of life and make those people who don't like to live in a cities to come and live in our city. So our mandate is to create happiness and to sustain the resident and visitor happiness in, in our journey to transform our city to the happiest city. Our aim in 2017 to be the smartest city and covering six dimensions. When you talk about other smart cities, many of them focus in specific vertical uh, uh, solutions uh, like uh, transportation, environment, uh, energy. But here in Dubai, it's everything in the city. And to be honest, today I was so happy to see many of the stands there who are a lot of them startup or entrepreneurs and this is what we want to see as a passion in our city, to attract those innovators and startups to see Dubai as their hub. As I said, our mandate is to be number one, as always His Highness passion to be number one as the smartest city and the happiest city. We are covering four pillars, efficiency, seamless, safe, and impactful experience, and six dimensions, 
Uh, I know it is difficult to explain them, but I'll try to make them as simple as possible. A smart uh, mobility, a smart environment, a smart economy, a smart uh, living, smart governance, and smart people. And you will hear them a lot when you search about smart cities. Many other cities took specific dimension, but for us was covering everything in our city. In developing such inspiring uh, 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 vision, we need to develop what it called a smart city platform. We search globally where we can tap into such kind of knowledge and learn from them what kind of platform we need to build for such a vision. And I believe there isn't any solution available globally to build a smart city platform. That's why we believe what we will do today in Dubai will be the platform that other cities will learn from. To develop such platform, we went through an exercise, both me and the members of the executive committee and other partners in Dubai, and also internationally. We develop a current state report to know exactly what we have, and also, we did a lot of research to search for best practices. And then we came out with a blueprint, or what we believe is the architecture that will take Dubai to become the smartest city. And again, with different partners, we develop a picture of the future for Dubai and our roadmap to reach to that picture collectively with our partners to become the smartest city. And for sure, for any city, we have lots of challenges. Not only, this, these challenges are not only unique for Dubai. Some of these challenges are the data integration, the ICT infrastructure itself, whether it be uh, legacy systems or uh, ununified infrastructure, and also the interactional channels. and. Uh, we know that many of you facing uh, difficulties when accessing different components of the city, whether it be government or private sector. I know our uh, colleague here, Marwan, from, Depart from Dubai uh, Smart Government, they are doing a lot to unifying such uh, interactional channels. And I, I'm not sure if you uh, went across uh, M Dubai, which is our first uh, version of our personal dashboard in Dubai. And also, many cities, uh, fail when it comes to legalizations and policies and laws uh, around smart cities and smart technologies uh, and data. And that's what we are taking it into consideration today in Dubai to overcome these challenges and make them as our opportunities to become the smartest city. This is just to show you uh, many of the cities that we benchmarked uh, ourselves with it. Uh, these are only the 10 of them, but we have a huge list. We collected 70, uh, 76 uh, uh, best practice that uh, we see that it might help us also to uh, uplift Dubai uh, platform to become the smartest city. And many of our partners taking into consideration these best practices to, um, to tailor it and customize it to make it happen here in Dubai. For instance, the smart uh, parking, Sellati uh, program that uh, maybe uh, Mr. Mohammed Shaal from uh, DED, Department of Economic Development, can speak later on uh, about it. Uh, Makani from municipality, also Mr. Mohammed Zafin later on, he can speak about it. All these practices, we find something similar globally, but we took it, tailored it, customized it for Dubai, and took it to another uh, level. And this is a platform, and uh, I was telling uh, one of our colleagues uh, two days ago, uh, that whenever we go into different international platform to talk about a smart Dubai, at the beginning, when they used to show us also their blueprint, it was something very old style uh, architecture. Nowadays, many of the ICT vendors took that blueprint into their consideration when they are trying to sell us their product. It's a very easy platform. It's covered four uh, elements, the infrastructure, the data, the service, and the application. 
and for sure we are taking in consideration lots of the uh, technology trends when it's coming to uh, a platform as a service, application as a service, and data as a service, analytical as a service, um, and that exactly what our uh, architecture or platform will uh, provide uh, uh, our citizens and residents, uh, innovators, entrepreneurs, to utilize these assets of the city. This platform will start to push data, collect data, generate data, uh, analyze data, and providing it to, to you as uh, uh, startups, innovators, businessmen, even government uh, uh, decision makers, so that they can plan properly uh, their business, their days, and so on. This is basically uh, uh, talking about our guideline. We develop a guideline for our partners. As I, as I said, we've traveled all over the world searching for guidelines, for some help, some insights about smart cities, and we find everyone are struggling into understanding what does it mean, smart city. The definition by itself Everyone define it in different way. So we said, okay, this is an opportunity for us. Let us develop our own guideline that will serve Dubai today and the future. So in that guideline, we develop the scope of our architecture, um, some technical uh, references and models. As you know, today is the hot topic is Internet of Things. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a unified standard for Internet of Things and how different platforms can talk to each other. Uh, and one important thing, Smart City Index. We called it here Smart Dubai Index because there isn't any index globally uh, 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 being put in for smart cities. And also here, our, t uh, our team and my colleagues work very hard in the last uh, uh, eight months and very closely to an international bodies to make sure that we are also aligned to all these smart cities movements. And we find uh, uh, a great partnership with the United Nations, the ITU, International Telecommunication Union. They have a focus group that are focusing in developing standards. And they have a chapter for smart cities. We met with them several times, and we offered them to open Dubai as a platform to pilot their thoughts about smart cities and their KPIs. And alhamdulillah, last month we signed with them an MOU for two years to make Dubai the first city to pilot such index. Thank you. Very soon also you will hear about our uh, detailed roadmap, uh, which is one of our tasks. Um, it will show you exactly what are the initiatives, what are the services. And our mandate from His Highness is to have 100 initiatives and 1,000 smart services. Only from government entities, we could gather almost 600 smart services. But today we need also your input as a private sector, how you can contribute to Smart Dubai to make it more smarter, because Smart Dubai is not only a government uh, initiative. Yes, Smart Cities initiatives is being uh, driven by government, but government is only a 20% focus of such initiative. 80% is private sector, academic individuals, entrepreneurs, and so on. I'm not sure if you've seen uh, our uh, happiness meter near the door. And I hope all of you, when you leave uh, this event, you have a chance to look into it and measure your, uh, your experience. This, this initiative was one of his highness initiatives. He said, we know that there is an international happiness index that is measured by, uh, jointly by uh, University of Columbia and the uh, United Nations. And we receive this report on an annual basis. But we want to know how people are happy live, on spot. How can we know that people in this park are happy, or in that mall are happy, or in that location, our city happy? So he gave us this direction. Provide me with a platform that not only me, 
decision makers from government, and even business owners can collect such information and immediately can go into the ground and fix, if there is any issue, fix it. And uh, Dubai Smart Government, we are our uh, partner in this uh, initiative, and they are our implementer uh, already in their roadmap to implement such a, a, a meter. Uh, 14 uh, government entities already implemented such a meter, but also we are looking forward to have you all having such tool in your entities, in your shops, uh, in your venues, to measure the happiness, the, the, the uh, uh, happiness experience of your uh, audience or your clients and customers. And you will have also part of this platform, you will have a dashboard to show you all these statistics of how uh, happy uh, the experience was. Another thing also I would like to share here with you that we develop a knowledge platform uh, jointly with uh, Mohammed Bin Rashid School of Government, MBRSG, called Dubai Smart Cities Forum. It takes place every six to eight uh, weeks, wherein in every session or every edition, we talk about different topics of smart cities. We know that uh, smart cities is a hot topic, but what does it mean, uh, big data? Or what does it mean, uh, uh, Internet of Things, or everything, or Internet of the Industrial Things, uh, and many of these topics. And in these sessions, we host many international speakers, uh, local uh, expertise also to talk and debates about uh, smart cities uh, topic. Our next session will be on the 7th of June. Uh, and the topic will be how to take smart city uh, from vision to reality. And I think by this, I'm closing my uh, uh, session, and I'll leave the floor for my other colleagues who will have a panel discussion here. And uh, please be, f uh, uh, be more than welcome to ask them as much as possible of questions, because your questions are important for us and it will also inspire us for our next steps in Smart Dubai. Thank you.